Hey, welcome to Garvin Gardens. I'm Ken. I'm Barb. And we're sitting out here by the the green the hoop house, I guess you could call it. <laughs> Short greenhouse. And uh, just thought we'd make this video to kind of show you what's going on in the world of moringa trees here at Garvin Gardens. And uh, whoops, why was my hand in there? Oh. Because I put it in front of the camera. Yeah. That makes sense, don't it? Okay. Okay, let's go look at some moringa trees. These are trees that I directly planted. Oh, before I get to that, let me tell you something. If you know anybody that works for the phone company, where you ever see the phone company out with their big bucket truck and they're, they're pulling some stuff through manholes, um, the, we used to use this stuff called mule tape and you can probably buy it at an electronic store uh, you know uh, anyway um, you lay this stuff down on the ground and every foot there is a number like this is 1404 and it's the numbers are going down there's 1403 and you can use that for spacing out your plants. And I thought that was a neat idea. So I've got a bunch of moringa trees planted in a row here. And we'll go down and take a look at a couple of them. Uh, I put 10 of them in this row. And I put these tomato stakes out here to, to uh, so I wouldn't hit it with a lawnmower. And They've probably been out here, I don't know, maybe a month or something, but it's been raining, it's been cold, they, they germinated and came up out of the ground, but they haven't done much since they come out of the ground because it's been so cold. But uh, it's warming up out here now, and I've got a, a soaker hose laying out here for them, but I planted them every two feet. so. There should be one coming up around in here someplace, but I don't see it. But uh, then this is this is tree number two, still very tiny, but it's coming up. And these were directly planted from seeds, uh, probably about a month ago. I knew it was a little bit too cold, but I put them out and they. They're coming up. I put ten of them out. That was two of them you saw there. Um, and I've got one other little one coming up right here that I'm going to have to trim around. And these jars, when it got real cold out, we got down into the 30s here about a week or so ago. It just set the jar over the top of the tree acted like a greenhouse and protected it from the frost. So what do we got so far? We got four and I also I leave the jars there so I can find them. They're so small. And here's number five. Then we go down and here's number six. And we'll move down a little more. I don't know. I don't think this one came up in this spot. And this wasn't. This one hasn't come up yet either. So I've got six out of ten that were directly planted into the ground. And I actually I took the seed out of the shell and just planted the seed. I didn't plant it in the shell. Okay, so that's that's one row. Then we'll go back down here. I just started this row the other day. Uh, these are trees from Numa Nursery. And uh, these were growing trees when I got them 
and I'll show you that in just a minute. But there's there's one, and there's another one here. They're kind of hard to see when they're green and everything behind them's green. Um, there's two, and I ordered a garden auger that goes in a drill bit, and when that comes, I'll show you that too. It's really neat. I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. I should have it Tuesday because Monday's a holiday. But uh, we'll come over this way. And these are also trees that I got from Newman Nursery. Uh, and it said clip the tops off of them. So I clipped the tops off four of them and they've probably been here like a week or something like that and they come in these really neat these, these really neat deep pots and uh, when you get the trees out of them then you can reuse them plant seeds in them uh, okay so the other two in the ground plus these that makes six and then well, here's one that grew from a seed in the flower pot. Um, so we got six Numa trees out there. And then uh, we have four more of the Numa trees here that I'm waiting till I get my auger to plant them. But I put a bunch of seeds in this pot. And I got about, oh, a dozen... Uh, little moringa trees that have come up and uh, we'll get those in the ground real quick <coughs> then I have some more over here that I had growing in a pot just starting out and I brought them out and, and put them out there's there's one two three and there's a real little teeny one right there four and then one in the center made five and then I just noticed today I had put out some seeds out here that never did anything well there's one of them that came up and a second one coming up right there so uh, we got some mushrooms growing in there too. Ha ha ha. Not the kind you can eat. I don't know. Maybe you could eat them and they'd really give you a buzz or something. I don't know. Never been into mushrooms. But uh, those are my moringa trees. And we've got some other things growing out here that uh, vegetable kind of stuff. Couldn't tell you what it is. I mean, I was out here pulling up lettuce and found out it wasn't lettuce, it was... Turnips. It was turnips. Um, I had been growing it like it was lettuce, cutting the leaves off it and giving it to the neighbors and saying, hey, try this on your sandwich. <laughs> they didn't like it. And then we got a little, few little uh, onions out here. Oh, Barb says these are the cantaloupes right here. And uh, then we come out and we got some of this growing. And I'm hoping those are turnips, but somebody said it looks like uh, uh, poke, salad. poke salad. So we'll just have to wait and see. I might have had a an envelope full of poke salad seeds instead of uh, beets. Instead of beets growing, I don't know. But uh, I got my tomato plants in. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And uh, got, I think I got a squash plant here. This is the most, the most fun part of, of uh, growing a garden, is you don't know what you got. 
until it starts coming up out of the ground and and I know where the zucchini is. Oh yeah, then we got uh, zucchini and squash back over here. Uh, back over here and then we come across we got some more big onions out here and some more uh, zucchini plants over here and I planted a bunch more beets out this way this really looks like a mess because this is our this is our second garden so far this year we had a bunch of stuff out here uh, during the cold weather season and we got more big onions over in here and I don't weed my garden <laughs> oh look I really don't cut my grass either no we've had continuous rain uh, for four days we we're supposed to get rain down again today but uh, we we haven't luckily so if it doesn't rain tonight I will be cutting all the grass tomorrow and uh, what I've got, i got to brag about my mower because everybody drag, brags about their John Deere and their Kubota and all this kind of stuff. Well, I got one of these big old, I got a Husqvarna and uh, I got the bagger system for it and the whole thing. And what I do is when I cut the grass, I save the grass clippings to put on my compost piles. And this was a big pile. Uh, back in the winter time and it's you know it's settled down then I've got uh, a couple other piles back over here these are uh, mulch uh, tree mulch and then these these garbage cans uh, those are what I fill those and let the stuff rot and it's a little easier to uh, to work with because you know you just tip the the garbage can over and you got uh, <laughs> you got your pile of compost but anyway um, and we got some things here that got rained on probably ruined them yeah, well they're all stuck together but uh, there's little seed pods in there and I don't remember what they're for. <laughs> that's 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 the fun at Garvin Gardens, and you know I didn't till. My garden don't look, uh, you know, <laughs> nothing pretty about it at all. But how pretty does it have to be to grow vegetables? I don't think it really takes beauty to uh, grow a vegetable. And it's in my backyard. Nobody sees it but but me. So, you know, I don't worry about uh, weeding or anything like that. Barb's got her hummingbird feeder up there, and we sit out here in the evenings with Lucy uh, and watch hummingbirds, don't we, Lucy? Yeah, we like hummingbirds, don't we? Ah. Uh, they're pretty. Well, folks, uh, that's about it for May 23rd, uh, 2020. And uh, look for me back here. Let's see. Um, it would be Tuesday. If my auger comes in, I'll make a video of... Um, planting the trees with the auger and that'll be interesting because it's really neat I never saw one before and Living Traditions Homestead uses one of the augers and I was impressed by the way it worked so uh, I got on Amazon and I got me one too so that should be here in a couple days and we'll be augering up the backyard to put in moringa trees. So y'all, uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe 
and what else? Subscribe or click on the like button and uh, follow along with me. We'll be having some fun out here in the, the weedy garden. I ought to change the name of my channel to the weedless or the weed with the weedy garden. That's it. No, but thanks for joining us. This is Ken and Barb with Garvin Gardens in South Carolina where we grow Moringa and uh, we enjoy life. Been retired for a few years, about 12. <laughs> and uh, we just enjoy what we're doing. So y'all be safe and uh, yeah, we're about six feet apart from each other. But you know something? That's interesting. Because um, when you're married, you know, you both sleep in the same bed. Well, the bed's only like four and a half feet wide or something like that. So <laughs> I end up sleeping on the floor because it's not six feet apart. Seriously, though. Uh, stay safe and... Uh, follow the rules to the extent of when the rules start becoming illegal deal with it don't don't uh, don't sit back and and let the government keep you in the house for the rest of your life or anything like that it's all gonna pass and we just hope it passes over everybody and just goes away course we know it's not going to do that but anyway god bless y'all talk to you later be safe